Well, we are joined by Dr. Russell Jones, acting interim president of ATU, and he discusses the direction of the university and the student experience there. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for Good joining morning. me today. Glad I, to be here. Yes, I always love going to ATU. The campus is just beautiful. Yes. The experience itself is just Absolutely. wonderful. So I can't imagine what the student experience would be like there. But let's talk about you for a little bit. Before becoming interim president, what was your role there at ATU? Uh, I started there as the Dean of the College of Business, which is now called the College of Business and Economic Development. So I, I came there in, four years ago. Yeah, and it's been great ever since and it, it's going been great. well. Yes, and I, and I hate to admit this, I grew up in uh, eastern Arkansas, both my wife and I, and neither one of us had ever been to Russellville and obviously never seen Arkansas Tech University campus. And when we got the call from the, the search firm asking if I was interested, uh, I said, well, I've never been there. I'd love to see the community. I visited and saw it. And again, it was beautiful campus, beautiful town. The mountains are beautiful, the rivers. Uh, and then I came back uh, when the interview experience happened and I met the people and we fell in love with it. There's such a sense of community there. Uh, everybody's so supportive of the university. Uh, I asked the students, I said, I, part of the interview was uh, meeting the students. And I asked the students, why do you come to University uh, Arkansas Tech and why do you stay? And they said, we come because we feel that the staff cares for mm -hmm. us, the faculty care, they go the extra mile. And they said they actually feel like it's a it's a nice community to live in and they're, everybody cares about them and wants them to succeed. Oh yeah, I truly believe that. You do have core principles there at ATU. Uh, talk about those principles, what are those? Well, my, my core principles there are, I, I call them the three E's. I have education, engagement, and experiential learning. Because education, the classroom is only part of the university experience. There's so much more. Uh, it's a chance for people to come and engage with the, the, the university community, to build friendships, relationships, to network, to discover who are they going to be in five years, where they want to be. And very few students know what they're going to major in when they come to the, to the university. And so getting engaged with other students and programs, all of that helps them determine what their life going to be like. And so I like that. And then the experiential learning part, I'm really big into pushing students outside of their comfort zone. Mm. We have so many people in the state of Arkansas, in the River Valley in particular, that don't realize their potential, don't realize, they can't see outside the box, that they have so much chances to go places and see other, other uh, cultures. So one of the things I really push is engagement with not only the local community, uh, but we do what we call study abroad. We've really pushed study abroad the last couple of years and even study away. To some of these students from the River Valley, they think New York City is a f foreign country. They think Los Angeles is a foreign country. So we really are pushing engagement uh, with uh, the students with these organizations that have competitions outside our local community. Uh, we sent 12 students to Germany. Oh, wow. Uh, and then we had the German students come over to us. So we need to introduce them to, to other cultures also. So they, even though they might spend the rest of their life in Arkansas and maybe even in the River Valley, in the global world that we live in today, you need to understand other cultures because you're going to work with those people. You're mm -hmm. going to meet those people and you need to have an appreciation for them. It's so true. It's so good to be pushed out of your little bubble that you live in because there's just so Absolutely. much more to the world than, than what you see. Well, there is some uh, big news for campus life and, and the university there, a new student union and recreation center. What can we anticipate from this? Yes. Yeah, so, so as I said, you know, we're at a place now where a lot of universities are putting more of an emphasis on online programs uh, and more on that type of learning. We feel at Arkansas Tech, we want to give the whole university experience. We want to give them, as I just mentioned, we want to give them access to fraternities and sororities, residence life, uh, student organizations, all of these things, tailgating at football games, all that stuff's important in the development of a college student. And part of that is also a uh, recreation center and student union, a place for them to come together. The new student union will have things such as basketball courts, it'll have meditation rooms, it's going to have a food uh, uh, court, it's gonna have a convenience store, uh, and it's also gonna have study areas for everybody. It's gonna have an outdoor rec center where you can come and rent bicycles and canoes because we have a lot of rivers and lakes there. So it's just gonna be a place where, again, students can come together, they can build those relationships, 
uh, meet other people and experience things they haven't experienced before. Ah, that's going to bring so much more to the campus, which there's already a great uh, right. campus life there, but it's going to be great when that opens. Thank you so much for joining me Thank today. Thank you I so really much for having it. me. Absolutely.